Let's take a look at this example. We're supposed to find ICQ and VCEQ. Please notice that the tail current is already given. Okay, it has value of one milliamp. So I can find very easy the current IE1 and IE2. So keep in mind that IE1 is equal to I E2, and this is nothing else, just half of the tail current. So IT divided by 2. So in this case, this is my IE. IE divided by 2. This is equal 1 milliamp divided by 2 is equal 500 microamps. Okay, so each resistor, okay, R1, and R2 is going to have also approximately uh, current going through it equal to 500 microamps. So I can say that I C1 okay, is approximately equal to I E1 and this is equal 500 microamps and I C2 is approximately equal to I E Two, which is equal to 500 microamps. Supposed to realize that anytime we say IC1 or IC2, I mean current IC. Okay, so anytime I say IC, this is equal to ICQ. So in our case, ICQ is equal 500 microamps. Next we're supposed to find VCEQ. So in order to find VCE we're supposed to find VC first. VC is equal VCC minus IC times RC where VCC is equal 15 volts minus IC 500 microamps times RC 20 kilohms. So VC is equal 15 minus 500 exponent 6 negative times 20 exponent 3. This is equal 5 volts. So VC is equal 5 volts. I mean this is this is VC1 and VC2. Next, we're supposed to find VE. VE, okay, this is the voltage at each emitter, okay? Keep in mind that anytime we do the DC analysis, we're supposed to assume that these two inputs, I mean, non-inverting input and inverting input are connected to ground. So if they are connected to ground, if you are going to uh, remember what we did in the previous problems, okay, you are going to notice that VE is equal negative VBE. And this is equal negative 0.7 volts. So if I have VE and I have VC, I can find VCE. VCE is equal VC minus VE, where VC is equal 5 volts minus negative 0.7 volts. This is equal 5.7 volts. Okay, so I can say that VCE is equal to VCE Q and this is equal 5.7 volts. Now I can say that the prime is solved.